What up? This is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise with another brief intro. We got your boy ASAP Rocky in the building. Hold up, y'all. Trying to charge my phone. One take, no mistakes. I don't give a fuck. We got to put the videos out. Now, ASAP Rocky. I remember ASAP Rocky. When he first came out with his mixtape, 2011, uh, back in my, my days when I was out of my mind and barely remember anything that was going on, I was just going with the flow. Uh, it was one of the last times I went to Crystal Palace. And it was with my sister, her mom, and uh, her sister, my stepsister. And we were, I was listening to the ASAP Rocky mixtape. I believe it was on an iPod. I don't know. Don't quote me. May have been on the phone. This is way back in 2011. This is almost 10 years ago. Uh, it just surreal. And ASAP Rocky was just like, at that time, he was one of the coolest rappers. Him and Wiz Khalifa. So he dropped that mixtape. That mixtape was amazing. My brother put, him, put me onto him. And... Two years later, he ended up dropping the album. Got a lot of big cosigns, got a lot of big features. Uh, it's it feels like it feels like a mixtape ASAP Rocky. And there were some songs that didn't. It felt like it was a little more not mixtape ASAP Rocky because everybody likes to mixtape rappers. Like, you know, let's keep it a hundred. So. With this album, everybody was excited for it. Everybody copped it. Um, <laughs> I remember this album leaked a week before it came out. And it did hurt ASAP Rocky a little bit. But I digress. Let's go into the features. We got Schoolboy Q, Haim, Santi Gold, Overdose, Overdoz, Overdose, Drake, 2 Chains, Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar, Joey Badass, Yellow Wolf. I think I said Kendrick Lamar twice. Danny Brown, Action Bronson, Big Crit. Gunplay, ASAP Ferg. Florin Welch. Gucci Man, Walk a Flock of Flame. Pharrell and Juicy J. Very good album. Felt like a sequel to his mixtape. Um, after that, ASAP Rocky sort of disappeared. And it was like, man, where is this? Where is ASAP Rocky at? We need some more music. Um, he ended up dropping this album three years later. At long last, ASAP. And I think that by this time, because ASAP Rocky didn't come out two years after, like kind of like Big Sean, and he didn't come out on a consistent basis. Because back in the early 2000s, you had to come out every other year because all the projects were so big. But nowadays, people want you to come out every year. But ASAP Rocky just does his own thing. Uh, regardless, regardless, we still got this ASAP album. Let's go over the features. We got Joe Fox, Bones, Future, M.I.A., Schoolboy Q, Kanye West, Juicy J, U.G.K. <laughs> that rhymed. Christina Milian, James Fauntleroy, Little Wayne, Two Chains, Rod Stewart, Miguel, Most Def, ASAP Yams, and A Side. I think that's Acid or something. A Side Acid. A uh, pretty good album. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting the features. I'm all over the place. For his first album, it was Goldie. The first one was Goldie. Uh, fucking problems. The Night, Fashion Killer. And I think that's it. For the second one, I'm not too hip on this second one. Man, after this, I'm about to go listen to this album. This is a dope album, too. And I think he took a three-year break also because um, he wanted to get more into producing, the producing side of things. Trying to think, what was a few, what was the singles? LSD. That's I think that was the only single really. Uh, so not knowing how a next the next ASAP Rocky album was going to sound or how it was going to be, I assume it was going to be long last something something, but ultimately it became testing. 
Now, ASAP Rocky is notorious for handling features horribly. Uh, on this, I think Anthony Fantano has mentioned it. Uh, on this album, man, it, 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 it got worse. You got T.I. not rapping, but Kid Cudi rapping. You got Kodak Black just making a phone call. What? Uh, I believe he has either Snoop Dogg or French Montana in the background. You know, it's just it's it, he. It's just like the songs are the songs are decent though. You know, it's it's weird how ASAP Rocky does that. I don't I don't understand. But let's go over the features. We got Chloe Anna, Ti, Kid Cudi, Puff. I'm not saying Puff Daddy. Oh, I said Puff. <laughs> Puff, Akia Harvey, Hector Delgado, FKA Twigs, Skepta, Acid, Kodak Black, Dean Blunt, Playboy Cardi, Smooky Margella, Kelvin Crash, Juicy J, Snoop Dogg, French Montana, Frank Ocean, Blockboy JB, Matteo Arias, probably butchered that shit, ASAP Mob, Mickey Echo, Frank Ocean, Tyler the Creator, and Young Leash. And I added that last song on there. So, uh, this is ASAP Rocky. Uh, on a Travis Scott brief intro, I claimed that Travis Scott stole ASAP Rocky style. I sort of believe that to a degree, but I think Travis Scott is more influenced by Kid Cudi. And Kid Cudi and ASAP Rocky have a song together. Kid Cudi and Travis Scott also have a song together. It's more that atmospheric space vibe. And ASAP Rocky brought into more of a rap, sty rap type style. Because ASAP Rocky and Travis Scott are sort of beefing, not really, you know. So um, I know eventually when I get bigger, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. So I did have to clarify that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have a bunch of categories. I'm going to clarify it a little more. It's not necessarily the cushion, <laughs> the blow. It's just more to explain myself. If 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 you guys are feeling me, but you you guys let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's have a discussion, man. We gotta have a discussion. Anyway, peace.